goes to the end zone. Touchdown! Alabama wins! To me, Alabama and Nick Saban, this is a dynasty. What he has created in Tuscaloosa and the Alabama program that makes them the bar in college football. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Kangaroo Black. Coming back to talk about my Alabama Crimson Tide and offensive lineman, Emil Okior. So he has put it out there for everybody to know that the Crimson Tide has put their consolation prize or their second place trophy from 2021 in the cafeteria so, so they can have a daily reminder that they need things to change this year. Everybody know you know, we lost to the Georgia Bulldogs. We won the little first playoff game, lost the national championship. So we came in second place, and we all know Alabama is not used to being in second place. The, 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 we done been to the playoffs seven out of the eight years that it's been in existence and been to the national championship game six times during this uh, uh, playoff era, and we done won it three times. All right, so no no other program has done that. So we on top of that. But in 2022, we will be in the playoff. We will be back in the national championship game, and we will win it to bring home four national championships in the playoff era. And I'm glad that they done put this trophy in the daggone uh, in the cafeteria. You know, a whole lot of other programs would love to have this trophy that Alabama got in the cafeteria. They would love to have it in their trophy case. But all it is, is motivation for my Alabama Crimson Tide. It's not an accomplishment for Alabama. It's motivation, all right? So, hey, it is what it is. Hey, we, we didn't got back on the damn grind as of yesterday. And, uh... You know, Nick Saban had his little press conference and everything, and there was some things, uh, <clears throat> you know, not so good that he put out, and there was some things that, uh, you know, that was good that he put out, man. But uh, going back to this damn trophy, uh, yeah, we, we we lost to Georgia, man, thirty what thirty three to eighteen. That's fine. We we gonna we gonna we gonna get some revenge on that shit. But anyway. All I got to say, man, is 2022 SEC championship, I don't care who we face. If it is George, I don't care. We're going we gonna to mollywop their ass. It, it won't be nothing like it was last season. We're going to mollywop their ass in the SEC championship. And just like I said last season, if we meet them again in the national championship, we're going to mollywop their ass once again in 2022. Yeah, it didn't work out the way I said it in 2021. Okay, it was the national championship. But anybody in their right mind knows that nobody will be able to compete with this 2022 Alabama Crimson Tide team. Anybody in their right mind. All right? We know them UGA fans, they they some confident, they confident right now because of what they did last year. But it's but you know, this is a new year, baby. It's a whole new year. New teams for some people. You know, some people lost more than others. All right. Let's go back to this rebuilding. You know what I'm saying? As Nick Saban put it. And I agree with him. You know, we lost six players to the draft last year in the first six first round players in the draft last season. Well, in, in 2020 or 2021 draft, we lost six players to the draft in the six first round players in the draft. I might add five of them came off offense. All right. So we had to replace Matt Jones, Najah Harris, Devontae Smith. Uh, Jalen Waddle uh, and Alex Leatherwood off the uh, offense alone. All right, then we had Patrick Sertan to go first round on defense. But anyway, 
Plus, we had other players we had to replace on, on the defensive side and on the offensive side. I just named off the first rounders. But, yeah, our team was young last season, and I ain't making no damn excuses, man. It's the truth. Our team was young, young last season, all right? Some of those guys was inexperienced. But I tell you what, like I said yesterday, they took the damn challenge. They went out and competed. Yep, we had some struggles last season, but we went out and competed, and we won the games that we had to win, and we made it to the SEC championship game. And when our young team went out there and totally annihilated the eventual national champions, okay? And the national championship game, hey, it is what it is. We lost fair and square. Okay, fair and square. Shit happens. I'm still saying that dumb damn uh, hush puppies won by default, but they won by default, fair and square. All right? But I tell you what, like I said, it's a new season, 2022. And we got that damn consolation prize, second place trophy, motivational trophy, sitting in the cafeteria. So our guys and, and, and coaching staff can see it every day when they go sit down and have them some vittles or food, if you want to call it. So when they go sit down and eat, they can look at that damn trophy and, and, and have a constant reminder. That's what you get when you yawn and don't, don't put in the work. You get complacent and you put the I in team. This is what you get. But we don't got to worry about that in 2022. They ready to roll. They ready to roll. Nick Saban got all the confidence in the world. And if anybody know how to gauge what a team is going to be like in the, in the near future, like the, like the season, it is Nick Saban. And old St. Nick already know the reckoning and the thrashing that we about to put on every opponent that we gonna face. No matter if it's just the no matter if it's the reigning, let's say this, the current reigning, defending national champions, Georgia Bulldogs. We don't give a damn who it is. In 2022, my Alabama Crimson Tide going to show y'all who should have won the national championship last season. All right? We're going to show y'all that the reigning, defending national champions, Georgia Bulldogs, won the 2020, uh, well, the 2021 national championship by default. But they won it fair and square. <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is, man. They got some motivation now. And you know what happens when the Crimson Tide is motivated and dedicated and ready to put in that hard work. You know what's coming when they are focused and they have their eyes on the prize. Not used to being in second place. I heard... uh he were told, told to speak this morning. He has some great things to say. They are focused and they are ready. So I'm telling the entire college football world, y'all better watch out for my Alabama Crimson Tide. Roll damn tide.